Come in. <laughs> Hello, Eric. Hello. You must be Eric's father. Yeah, Chris Watson. Mr. Sprankton. You have a seat. Now, as you know, Eric has spent some time taking some personality and aptitude tests. Haven't you, Eric? And the results are in. And Eric is perfect for a number of careers. Great. What are they? <clears throat> well, according to my careful assessment of the data using the latest statistical modelling, the number one recommendation, with daylight second I might add, is careers counsellor. Careers counsellor? Careers counsellor. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's not ridiculous, I'm a careers counsellor. What was second on the list? Uh, daylight. After daylight. Third was careers advisor. What was fourth? Career information and assessment expert. Fifth? Career development educator. Sixth? Uh, vocational wisdom oracle. Seventh? Seventh, corporate banking. Corporate banking? No, oh, no, that's more like it. That's what I do. Sorry, my mistake. Uh, corporate person who tells you what job you should do. So, so are there any results that aren't related to careers counselling? No, none. In fact, I've never seen anyone produce such definitive results. Well, obviously you didn't test him for long enough. No, no, he's had 13 hours of testing. 13 hours? Yeah, per day, for five days. <coughs> That's 65 hours. Per week. Per week? For how many weeks? Every week since Eric started school. High school? Primary. So you've been careers counselling my son full time since he was five years old? Yeah. So he's never been to an actual class? No. And he has no real knowledge whatsoever? None. And I guess he's perfect for careers counselling. 